Okay, so today I'll be presenting our 1930 Willys Whippet. It is a 96B two-door, three-window coupe. I'm just going to walk you around. The paint job is brand new. We chose a house of color blended red. It's going to have meteorite red, a cherry cranberry, and a uh, cherry raspberry. And then we use their black as well. As you can see, it's beautiful, shiny. I'm going to try and back up, give you a better view. So here's the side of the car. All the wheels, wheels have been redone. They uh, have brand new liners, brand new tubes, brand new tires themselves. Top's brand new, just had it redone. I'll show you the interior as well. So here's walking around the back side. Not the rumble seat set up, it's a regular trunk. And I'll open that and give you a view as well. So the wood inside was all in good shape except for a back around the back window. I uh, had to rebuild that, but besides that, beautiful wood. You'll see it does have the gas cam lid. And then over here, used to be where the gas gauge was. They had a floating unit. I have the unit, just needs to be rebuilt. So if you uh, want to put that back in, you can. We just kind of covered it so it doesn't leak gas. Uh, you can see the key is missing from the trunk, but it is the original handle. Okay, come to the other side. Running boards are brand new. We just rebuilt those as well. And as you, once again, you can see the tires. And uh, it's actually the original Whippet uh, center caps. So we do have the spare as well. Spare probably needs a new, new, uh, uh, new inner tube. So, and it's not a brand new tire. All right. So there's the walk around. I'll go ahead and give you a view of the upper here. Real pretty. You can see we split two-tone colored it. There's your top, nice and flat. Okay. Coming back in. There's the Whippet emblem. Beautiful. Beautiful shape. This car was rust free, zero cancer. We got it out of a barn in Santa Inez that had been parked for oh, over 30 years. So we put a lot of love and care into it, got it up and running. It's the original motor. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you that now. Here's your original clasps. Okay. There's the original motor. Didn't change anything, we just made it pretty, cleaned it up. Uh, down below is an air breather. Uh, it's there optional just in case. It didn't come with one, um, but I put one there in case we ever get into a dirty area or anything like that. Still has the original vacuum secondary gas uh, tank. And uh, there we go. Uh, the lights do work, headlights and the tail light. Um, last I checked, the tail light was still working. It's a bit temperamental just because of the age of the car. I'll close that down a little bit later. So now I'll take you on to the interior. Original handles on the outside, functions perfectly. Inside, we went back to the original corduroy and we wood grained the surrounding channel. Uh, windows do have brand new felt, as you can see, it goes up and down. And the door handle works just fine as well. Uh, inside, we kept it basically original. We re ran that beautiful red that's outside there. The dash, we just went ahead and uh, put it back to stock. Uh, left it alone actually. The speedometer does work. You'll see that when I make the video of us driving down the road. Uh, inside here, uh, the windshield crank does not work. It needs to be rebuilt. Um, the windshield does open and close. We've just got Velcro to keep it there so when you drive it, it's closed. Uh, here is the original windshield wiper setup. It can run manually and it does have a vacuum line, but the vacuum line needs to be replumbed into the intake. Okay, there's your original brake lever, original stick shift. It does have the original fingertip pull control. I've disengaged it because of where it sits. They didn't build these smart. Um, it's all there, so if you decide you want it, you can uh, put it all back in. It's not been taken out. You just have to change the wiring back to where it was. Uh, back here, you can see a brand new headliner, brand new seats. Didn't come with a rubber mat, but I put one in just because I didn't want to just ruin the wood floor. Uh, but you can see we redid all of the kick panels over here as well. And that window has been done the same, same wood channeling around the outside. Uh, it does go up and down. I do have the handle, I'll be putting that on today. Um, so, and then back here is the curtain. It does function properly, it's the original one. So, um, yeah. And here's a little storage bin that they kind of used as a trunk area behind the seat. A lot of people, if they hot rod these things, I guess pull this out and make it a bigger car. So that's the interior, all clean, brand new. Um, car runs and starts like a champ. 
I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you the trunk area here. So, yeah. Okay. All right, so there's the trunk. You can see all we did was paint it black, put a, a mat back in it. As I said before, there's no rust or rot. Wood was in great shape. Um, inside of this box are extra parts that we got. So when we bought the car from the gentleman we bought it from, he had been the person that owned it for the last 45 years. And uh, actually I think, yeah, 45 years. And he had, he had built a second motor for it as well, or had the ability to build a second motor. So there's a set of pistons and valve control arms and a couple of other parts in there. So that's our walk around for now. I'll give you guys a drive here pretty soon and show you how she runs. All right. Once again, 1930 Whippet, 85 years old and beautiful.